The last graphics card of the AMD HD series debuted in April of 2013 with the HD 8990. The HD series was highly successful in price and performance, was a direct competitor to Nvidia as the two companies competed to outperform each other. However, not all graphics chips in this series were renowned for their impressive performance, such as the one in question today, the AMD HD 7340. The HD 7340 is none too impressive and was released in 2012 as an integrated graphics processor for the low to mid-range consumer market. It was meant as a basic little boost to the performance of the computer and not for any intensive purposes such as gaming. It was built on the 40 nanometer process in the TerraScale 2 architecture with 80 cores running at 523 MHz, 8 texture mapping units, 4 render output units, 2 compute units, and it shared the memory specifications with the system it was integrated in. The chip is now at the end of its life cycle and is no longer put into modern computers. And in today's testing, this 7340 came attached to a laptop which sported the E2-1800 AMD CPU and 4GB of DDR3 RAM. If you've not heard of the E2-1800 before, I don't blame you, but for reference, it performs similarly to a 3GHz Pentium 4. It, like the 7340, was a lower end chip for the basic computing market and came with two cores clocked at 1.7 GHz. The laptop with this configuration came from Toshiba in 2012 and debuted for 400 euros or about 430 USD but can now be found in the used market for less than 100. For today's testing, I did encounter an issue with my frame rate overlay software so some values will be estimated in the following test, but now that we got the specs out of the way, let's head into some basic gaming benchmarks and see just how practically the HD 7340 performs. I began testing with an older but popular title alike, Half-Life 2. Since it was such an older game, I ran it with maximum settings applied and hoped for the best. I figured that the more intensive options would decrease performance and gameplay experience, but however, the 7340 was able to run this game at a high frame rate. Most modern games were out of the question for this 8 year old graphics processor, so I started with an older but popular title, Far Cry. All settings were set to the lowest, and like all other games tested today, the resolution was set to 1600 by 900 the native resolution of this laptop. The gameplay was fluid, enjoyable, stutter-free, and the frame rate never significantly decreased. Due to the impressive performance, I decided to increase the difficulty and move to a much more modern title, 60 Seconds. This game has both 2D and 3D gameplay elements and serves as a good benchmarking tool for the system. It was run with the lowest settings and, to my surprise, was able to maintain a pretty playable experience. I then moved to an even more modern game with Enter the Gungeon, released back in 2016. The minimum system requirements cite a Core 2 Duo E6320, which, according to user benchmark, does outperform the E2-1800 by about 24%. Even though the system did not meet the minimum requirements to run the game, it was still able to deliver another excellent gaming experience. I then tested The Binding of Isaac which was released 9 years ago in 2011. The game loaded in windowed mode and, as you can see, there was a bit of ghosting while moving the window. Nothing really impactful upon performance, but a noticeable quirk that highlights the card's lack of capability. Regardless, while in gameplay, performance once again surpassed my expectations and the game ran fluidly. Nothing I had thrown at this card up until this point was able to bog down the system to a significant degree. This, however, changed when I attempted to run 2015 titles of TerraTech on the HD 7340. Even on the lowest settings in the 720p, the performance suffered to a great degree and the game was hardly playable. There was a lot of input lag and in more endgame scenarios with more complicated builds, I would be surprised if the game reached the point of unplayability. After reviewing the performance of this system and comparing it against others, I'd give the 7340 a rating of 5 out of 10. This score was higher than the rating I originally anticipated for this card since I genuinely expected it to perform worse than it ultimately did. In older or more simplistic style games, the card was able to hold its own and perform well, but in more intensive situations, it did noticeably struggle. And overall, I guess I would recommend buying this card, but only under very specific conditions. If you can get a system with the 7340 inside for about $50, then that's a great deal actually. It was capable of doing basic tasks such as web browsing and general basic OS usage. For gaming, though, it performed decently but the frame rate ultimately suffered on more modern titles. For about $50, it'd be hard to find a system that outperforms this one, although it could be done. Even though this laptop is still capable in some tasks, I'll probably sell it for about $100 since I have simply no use for it. Also, kind of an irrelevant side note, but on another laptop I found that the previous owner drilled holes into the only hard drive in the computer as a means of destroying the data. Who the heck does that? 
Regardless, thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. Also, please leave a comment below because interactions with viewers will help boost this video in the YouTube algorithm. While you're at it, please subscribe because it helps a lot in video quality and production and also positively affects my day. Finally, leave any questions or suggestions in the comments below and have a great day. Bye.